Hello everyone, this is Ashayan with you and welcome to my channel. Before I move on, I would like to tell you that this video is going to be in English language. If you want to watch the same video in Urdu language for the same topic, link is there up. Just click on this link. This link will lead you to my Urdu language video. So without further delay, here we go. Welcome back everyone. What you see on your screen at the moment, this is the topic of today's lecture, Satras Paribus, the most complicated topic of economics that students literally don't understand. So we are going to cover this topic today, Satras Paribus. And the meaning of Satras Paribus is all other variables remain constant. What does it mean by? No problem, stay with me, I will explain. Let's move on to the next slide. So, first try to understand the important information of Satras Paribas. Number one, Satras Paribas is basically a Latin word and the meaning of this Latin word is all other things remain constant or being equal. All right, let's move on. Keep it in your mind. If you don't understand the concept of Satras Paribas, you will not be able to understand laws of economics. If you do not write down Satras Paribus or the hidden meanings of Satras Paribus in your demand law or the supply law, you will get zero. The law will be considered wrong. If you do not write down Satras Paribus there, to write down Satras Paribus, you have to understand what's called Satras Paribus and to understand it, you have to stay with me for a couple of minutes. Let's move on. The next slide. Okay, here are the three meanings of Satras Paribus. And these are the most common meanings that I collected actually. The first meaning of Satras Paribus is holding other things constant. Second, all other things remain same. And the third is no change in any other variable. No change in any other variable. This is the hidden meaning of the word Satras Paribus. Now let's see what exactly it is. It is actually an assumption of the mainstream economic thinkings. Mainstream economic thinkings are the laws, demand law, supply law and so on, equilibriums. Okay, keep it in your mind. It acts as a shorthand indicator of the effects of one economic variable such as price on another economic variable provided all other variables constant. Keep it in your mind. Satras Paribus means you will only be discussing two variables. Two variables will move such as price, quantity demanded, price or supply, quantity supply. They say Satras Paribas concept is only two variables will move. All other variables will remain constant, immovable. They will not move. What does it mean by? Let's apply the concept on a real life example. Then you will understand. Just take an example of uh, demand law. What you see here, I have written demand law in the easiest ways possible. Whenever the price of any commodity increases, its quantity demanded decreases. Vice versa means whenever the price of any commodity decreases, its quantity demand will be increased. And satros paribus. Satras Paribus. Okay, what does it mean by they are saying that only two variables are moving. Number one is quantity demanded due to the fluctuation in price. Okay, and they are saying when the price moves, quantity demanded will move. There is an inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded, but there is a direct and a positive relationship in quantity supplied. They say this will act, this will happen according to the law. Whenever the price goes down, quantity demand will go up only when all these factors are made constant. The factors what you see here, 
taste of the customer is not changed in that law okay income of the customer consumer is not changed price of the substitute good is not changed government rules and regulations are not changed environment is the same it is not changed and uh, any other variable factor any variable which has a direct impact on the quantity demanded on the demand of that product is not changed they all are fixed even the complementary good for example the bottle comes with the milk bottle is actually the complementary good the shopper comes with whatever you shop that is a complementary good they say they all are same they all are fixed unchanged immovable if you apply this concept then the law of demand what you see at that side is proved or else it is not proved this is the concept of satris paribus now let's discuss a real life example here imagine mcdonald has set the price of their burger five dollars but suddenly they reduced the price of their burger from five to three now don't you think the quantity demanded of the burger will be increased that would definitely be increased obviously what you see here people used to buy 10 now they are buying 15 burgers for example they say this will only happen if the condition of satras paribus is applied and what is the condition here the first direct competitor kfc has fixed prices the price of the competitors product like kfc did not move that is fixed so if competitor did not move the price your price is moved so you will get the results according to the law this is called satras paribus condition keeping all other variables fixed they are not moved okay let's move on discuss another example okay by this exam after this example you will understand pepsi the price of pepsi fluctuated and it has a direct impact on the quantity demanded but all other variables are constant government rules and regulations constant income of the consumer constant coca-cola's pricing constant and all other variables such as the tax imposition no tax has been imposed this for example no substitute goods no new good has been introduced and so on they say if all these factors which you see there if all those factors are constant no change in any factor then the law of demand or the supply is proved and this condition keeping them constant actually called satirus paribus now understood I will now give you the wrap up of the topic. Now what you see here satris paribus is equals to all other variables remain constant, fixed or immovable. And what are the variables? Variables are the factors which may affect on the demand of the product or on the quantity demanded of the product negatively or positively and we have understood what the variables are we have studied what the variables are variables are substitute goods their prices uh, environmental factors government rules and regulations taste fashion or anything which may affect consumers decision of buying a product Getting my point? I hope in today's lecture you have understood Satras Paribus and if you did not understand, leave your comment down below. I will try to make another video on it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. If you have already subscribed, refer my channel to other people so at least other people will benefit from my lectures. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.